your vision board, I would highly encourage you, and this is something that I did yesterday and I asked my husband to do, and then we exchanged our list and it was fun reading. What we did is basically we just took a pen and paper and wrote whatever uh, big or small happened throughout 2014 achievement wise and you would be just so surprised uh, if you just start making your list at how many things uh, you have done throughout the year which to me was a lot of personal growth even something as moving fr to Chicago which has been my uh, kind of maybe not a dream but a big desire for a long time because I love big city life and even just uh, starting to make uh, YouTube videos, which is something I have never done before, that helped me become comfortable making videos for my coaches, on my team, and for my challenge members. So basically, all those little things, and big ones are small ones. So you're gonna feel really good about yourself uh, tonight or today, whatever you're gonna uh, create that list, and it will inspire you to make this vision board for the next year. So at the end of next year, you, can, you have a lot of things to cross off because you're gonna work on them. And uh, if you end up creating your vision board, uh, please share it. And if you share it somewhere on Facebook or on Instagram, please tag me so I can see. That will make me really happy. I love inspiring people. And if it just somehow changes, help change somebody else's life, or stay inspired for the year, that would make me really happy. And I will leave all my uh, contact information in the description box below. So here we go. This is... Uh, so I'm, I'm a really dream bigger. So, of course, the, uh, the, it has to be on the top of my uh, vision board. It says dream big. I really want to focus on meditating this year. I already started in 2014. That was uh, uh, quite a big step for me because I've never done that before. I kind of used to be scared of that. I really want to um, get into yoga. This is me doing yoga. And um, this is some, yoga is something that I am, for some reason, really lazy at. But I really want to uh, do more of it because it makes me feel amazing and flexible and strong and just overall, I, I really like it. Um, then there is some visualize uh, unlimited abundance, right? Then I absolutely love reading books and I have I, ha I used to read a lot of books and I haven't done a really good job at that in the past three years after my son was born. So this year I actually read quite a few books. Um, most of them were uh, related to my business, but this year I'm determined to read a lot of fiction and uh, just business related stuff. This is uh, Fall in Love with Your Life. I love a lot of in just inspirational stuff. And this is actually the frame that is hanging in the right opposite my entrance door to my apartment. So I can see it every day when I leave the house and when I come back. Uh, there, here is my well, I've recently gained some weight on doing the vegan diet and I decided to pick a pic put a picture of myself about four years ago when I, uh, when I lost my weight in a very healthy way and uh, I want to get back to this size, which is, I'm not much bigger than this, but I still am not this size and which is, uh, this is a big, um, Im like a step forward for me because before the old me would probably put a picture of a, a Victoria's Secret model or somebody else uh, who I find looking beautiful and confident and this time I just put a picture of myself because I don't want to look like anybody else I just want to be the best version of me and just um, so this is yeah this is uh, I'm gonna look at me and stay inspired to be the just to become the best me rather than just look somebody else which we're all different and we it, that's not possible anyway uh here i have uh you are a miracle believe in yourself <laughs> that's a huge part like you gotta believe in yourself and now i'm gonna move on to the center which i i put the uh, most kind of important things for me that i'm gonna be centering on this year to improve a lot and just um so what I did is I created my own hashtag for this year. So I wrote 2015, dare to live. So why dare to live? I don't know, I, I actually heard it in one song. And to me, I feel like a lot of people, including myself throughout many years before, I, I used to just go through life. Like, you know, be, um, you know, I, I wouldn't consciously live. And by that meaning, just try and make changes in my life or, um, trying to actually work on me and sit and take time to 
think and realize who am I? Uh, why am I on this world? How I can, how and what I can do to make it better, to make people's life better, my own life better, to live to the fullest, like carpe diem, right? And, and realizing my full potential of who I could have been. So this is what I'm working on and I've made a huge progress in that in this year and I will continue to working on myself. So this is my hashtag that I'll be using in all my posts on Instagram or on Facebook, dare to leave. Dare to leave is means for me to be brave, to have courage to get out of your comfort zone, to do the things you've never done before, to do the things that scare me. So here I have, um, it says, find yourself. I found this picture very inspiring to me because it's just basically a picture of a woman who stands in the deep forest that seems to be like a dark forest, but there is this rays of light falling onto her. And I really like that. This is one of my, another favorite ones. Uh, what if I fall? Oh, oh, my darling, what if you fly? So once again, out of comfort zone things. So just don't be afraid to fail. Even if you fail, for, fail, it's just a step forward. You fail, you learn. Um, oh, I really like this one by Ellen DeGeneres. It says, find out who you are and be that person. That's what your soul was put on this earth to be. Find the truth, live that truth, live that truth, and everything else will come. I really like that. And the last but not least, the sky is the limit, how claustrophobic. <laughs> so these are basically like, you know, uh, quotes um, and my centering thoughts. This is everything that inspires me, that um, helps me do more, be more. So. Uh, as you see, I have a lot of empty spots here, so these are some like personal things that I'm gonna put related to my business and everything and my personal life. So I already printed them out, so I'm just gonna, I, I wanted to keep them for myself for now. <laughs> Maybe at the end of the year, once I'm able to cross off a lot of things, I make a follow-up video like next December 30th, 2015 to share with you guys of how much of it I have managed to accomplish. So that's about it. I don't want to keep this video very long, but if I, if I have inspired you a little bit just to dream a little bigger and uh, to focus on your goals, on your dreams, because I know every single one of you watching this video have your goals, have your ambitions, desires, and um, wishes, dreams to do better, to live better, and we all deserve that. So why not find our true potential? Why not live to the fullest of whoever we were put on this earth to be? Everything that you want to focus on for the next 365 days and put it down on a paper, hang it somewhere where you're going to see it all the time. Let your dreams and goals stare right in your eyes and remind you every time this is who you want to be, this is what you want to achieve, and this is how you want to live. And then take action. Thank you for watching. Bye.